Hey folks, we're going to continue talking about social justice today. Uh, I was watching an old in interview uh, with a pastor by the name of Tony Campolo. I don't know if you know Tony Campolo, but he's, he's pretty amazing. Um, even though you may not agree with, all, with his stance on all things, he strikes me as an incredibly loving, welcoming and inclusive person. Anyway, in this, in this interview, he, he talked about justice and he said the most intriguing thing to me. He said, justice is love made into public policy. Justice is love made into public policy. And that, that really got me thinking. Because it tied in with something that I had read just maybe a couple of days before that when I read uh, the Anglican Church of Canada's Synod Resolution in regards to what's going on and what has been going on in the West Bank and in Gaza. Where we asked that all those parties involved find a way of coming to a place of peace with justice. Recognizing that it's not just about saying, oh, well, let's have peace. Peace can only be had through justice. And so when I applied those two things who come from very different places, but when I applied them together as an equation, as a logical, linear equation for myself, peace can only happen with justice which only happens through love. I thought this is, this is one of the core elements of social justice for me. Perhaps it's, it's the formula for social justice. Social justice alleviates the suffering in our community. As the suffering in our community becomes increasingly apparent, so does the peace of our communities, the peace within our societies, the peace within our cultures, within our nations, within our world. The more we alleviate suffering, the more peace there is. But peace can only be had when there is justice. Without justice, there can be no peace because somebody will always be oppressed. Somebody will always be fighting for their basic human rights. And so therefore, in order to have peace, in order to alleviate human suffering, we must have justice. But how do we possibly have justice? It's a fairly complicated thing, right? If we sit down and we think, okay, what are all the different moving pieces that I have to put in place? And da, 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 da. How do we do that? How do we start? How do we start the process of creating a just society, a just community? Love. We love each other. We love one another. We do what Jesus told us to do. Love one another as I loved you. We look around, we see the people around us, regardless of who they are, and we choose, we as individuals, choose to love them. We choose to care for them, to support them. We choose to show them mercy. We choose to offer them forgiveness. We choose to offer them ourselves. We choose to give up of ourselves so that they may have more. We choose to teach our children and our grandchildren this lesson. We choose to actually live like a community. A community where everyone is equal. Now I know this is big pie in the sky stuff and I know this it's more complicated than all this. But isn't this a good place for us to start? 
right? Set aside judgment. Set aside our desire to make them be the way we are. Just love them. Set aside our biases and love them. Set aside our comfort and love them. Set aside our preconceived notions. Set aside the stereotypes. Love them. Set aside our fear of how they will receive us, how they will treat us, and love them. Set aside our desire to be loved, to be rewarded, and love them. Whenever we come up against some kind of condition, whenever we come up against the great yeah, but set it aside and love them. Everyone without condition. This little formula begins with a huge, massive, courageous choice on our part to love them because if we love them we will help we will support we will encourage if we love our neighbors we will stand beside our neighbors if we love our neighbors we will fight against the things that are hurting our neighbors if we love our neighbors, we will take on ourselves their pain. If we love our neighbors, we will have to stand up against the oppression that they feel. If we love our neighbors, we will listen to their stories. We will enter into their reality. We will enter into their experiences. We will enter into who they are, not just as individuals, but as a community, as a culture, as a people. If we truly love our neighbors, we'll be willing to leave what we have behind, to become one with them. The only way, the only way that social justice can enter into this world, the only way that, that peace can enter into this world. The only way that justice can truly enter into this world is if we choose to radically love the people of this world. This is who we need to be to be Christian social justice warriors. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray, I pray that, oh, we would be willing to take that big first step. To choose to love without condition. And to choose to go where that love takes us. Amen.